Today is National Signing Day for high school athletes across the country. Any student athlete, with the exception of football and basketball, can agree to play for a college of their choice. Fox 40's Mark Dembski was at St. Francis High School today for that celebration and introduces us tonight to a very unique duo who are headed to college together. Bright and early at St. Francis High this morning, there were bouquets and balloons hugs and some tears. Hard to fight back the tears. Yeah. All to celebrate a dozen Troubadour student athletes recognizing a dream and taking the next step to play their sport in college. We're celebrating the, the efforts and achievements of uh, athletes that have really committed to what they do, uh, no, no, not, not only as athletes but as, as students, and uh, also celebrate uh, the supporters that helped them along the way. Family, coaches, Teachers and counselors were all on hand at a time where college scholarships have been at a premium. The market, if you will, for collegiate sport uh, scholarships has changed a little bit with the NCAA uh, offering waivers, COVID waivers, and so um, the athletes at the other end of it, seniors that would normally be graduating, moving on, may be staying uh, and, and taking up scholarships that would be available for students coming out of high school. Receiving a college scholarship is rare enough, but the Jenkins family here today has two recipients, fraternal twins Grace and Hope. Double duo. <laughs> I'm into my 10th year at St. Francis. Uh, we've certainly had some twins and some very talented athletic twins, but this is the first time I can remember that we'll both be playing the same sport and going to the same school. Grace and Hope will head together next fall across the country to play softball for the University of Connecticut. It's definitely something very rare, but I mean, we're, we're beating those odds and it's, it's cool, especially as a pitcher catcher duo, as Grace mentioned before, it's, it's pretty cool and you don't, you don't see it every day. Shortly into the process, we realized that we really couldn't do it without each other. And you know, if one of us are going, you're gonna have to have the other one. So um, yeah, it just worked that way. They're perfect teammates. For example, I will tell you, they'll get up in the morning and they go to the gym, one will come home and start breakfast, the other will be packing the lunches. They just literally know how to work as a team. Both on the field and in the game of life. Mark Dembski, Fox 40 News.